All right, now fixing a hole. This song um, I just found out. It's in, it's in the odd key. Mind you, like flat keys are are not uh, guitar keys. Okay, guitar is a sharp key instrument. So when you get a flat key, um, it's unusual that the guitar player wrote in that flat key, unless he's a jazz musician. But rock and pop guys, they know the key of A, D, G, that, that, because the way the guitar is structured, all six strings, on the circle of fifths, all six strings, uh, E, A, D, G, B, right, uh, and the redundant E, uh, sit in, the key of C has all of those notes. If I go next, down the circle of fifths, the key of G has all those notes, okay. which is, these are all sharp keys now. Mm -hmm. If I go to the key of A, wait, am I right about this? Uh, C, G, if I go to the key of D, all six strings fit into that key. Finally, when I get to the A, the G string has to be raised a half step for a G sharp. So this is why the key of C, the key of G, the key of D, and the key of A are so good for the guitar. Why you hear them all the time. Right. Why people write in them all the time. If I go on the other direction on the clock, I, I go to the flat keys, the very first flat key that comes up is F. One flat, and the flat happens to be a B flat. That takes my B string right out of the picture immediately. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you progress down the flat keys, it's not good for the open chords on the guitar. Okay. All right. And again, this doesn't matter to jazz musicians. All right. Now, of course, you could tune the guitar down a half step, which is pe what Hendrix did and Kurt Cobain did and um, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and suddenly you're in flat keys, but you're playing the sharp key shapes that the guitar would normally have. Right. Okay. All right, so we're in the reason I bring this up is we're in fixing a hole. I just read that fixing a hole was actually slowed down, the tape speed was slowed down, so the song is a half a step lower. And I don't know if you could hear it, it's, it's, it's almost imperceptible because that's a small increment. I'm fixing a hole when the rain gets in. It's hard to tell. You but, can't tell a little bit though. Yeah, you can tell a little bit. His, you should most notice it in his voice. Um, so really, I was really surprised to find out this was an F minor and when I read that no, actually, um, you know, the, the tape got slowed down. That means it was an F-sharp minor, which makes more sense because it would accommodate the guitar solo. Um, so this is a cool song. You know how you, I was talking about lines and you could take a minor chord and have a line in it? Right? This does a really cool thing. It starts with a major chord, F-sharp major. Then it proceeds through the line as if the rest of it were minor. those chords in that line? I have F sharp major, F augmented, F sharp minor 7, and actually it's a B9. Okay. But that's also F, it could be F minor 6 too. It okay. depends on what you, where you put the root. But so, but normally it'd be like this. But he starts with the major chord. has a total, it, it just brightens it up a little bit, and it takes the cliché out of it, you know. Because that line, by the way, is a big cliché. Yeah. All right, so we have F major, F augmented, F minor 7, F minor 6, and then he continues F minor 7. Actually, no, it's not an F minor 6, it's a B9. So... That's our intro, of course, with the harpsichord, oh. you know. And then he continues on with the F sharp minor 7 B9. So all we get is, I'm fixing a hole where the rain gets in and stops my mind from wondering where it will go. It's not done the way I just did it. I did it with jazz chords. And they what, actually took two guitars and harmonized them together. What are you? Okay, what are you playing? On that? Uh, this is all just basically an F, uh, F minor seven in different inversions. So you could take a chord and create melodies. This is called chord melody playing on right. guitar. 
And uh, there are many ways to approach it, but in this particular case, all you're doing is taking inversions of the same chord. That way, suspend the B and relax the B. Okay. Seven. Okay. So, um, back to our major, okay? And he keeps us there. He doesn't take us to the minor. And we go 1, 5, 1, or F, sh F sharp, C sharp 7, F sharp. I wouldn't doubt it that he had a capo on the guitar and he played this with E shapes, by the way. Oh, would it okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, okay. Um, because, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know. And it really doesn't matter if I'm wrong. So F sharp, this is 1, 5, 1 in F sharp. F sharp seven, F sharp, and C sharp seven, right? Mm -hmm. All right. If I'm wrong, I'm right. Where I belong, I'm right. Where I belong, I sit. I All right. Now we're in. Uh, we go to our C sharp, and it's five chord. So it's C sharp to G sharp. So we were. Uh, So we're in, we're, we're in the key of F sharp, Harry key, and we're going 1 to 5 in the key. So we're going C, F sharp to C sharp 7. All right. Now we're going to our 5 chord, C sharp, except we're not doing it as a 7th, we're doing it as a major, and we're going to its dominant 7th. So we're changing keys. A G sharp? To the key of C sharp, we have C sharp, G sharp, right, G sharp 7 to C sharp. Alright? So again, starting the, the chorus, it doesn't matter if I'm wrong, I'm right. Where I belong, I'm right. Where I belong. Silly people run around who disagree and never win and wonder why they don't get in my door. And the C sharp just takes us right back to F sharp because our, our tonic chord, because it's also the 5. The five was being used as a one temporarily, right? And then it's taking us back to our original one. Okay. So this tune has got a little more uh, sophistication to it than maybe you thought at first. Uh, no, I've I've always thought this song oh, yeah? was was really cool, uh, like the construction of it. I, my favorite thing about it is just that major chord because it takes away the cliche of. And, and Lennon uses that cliché, by the way, later on in uh, 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 Benefit of Mr. Kite, except he does something that also takes the cliché out of it. He just this modulation madness that oh. he does with it. It's awesome. Do, it, why does it have a reminiscence of Michelle? Right, right, yeah. exactly. And That's exactly the structure Michelle was built on. Except... Minor in the case of fixing a hole, and it changes the whole nature of the rest of the chords to follow because right. we have that happy introduction to it. You right. Know? So that's beautiful. I've never seen that before. So it's done. beautiful that he changed the cliche up enough to give it a different feeling, and he did something that no other composer I know of did with that cliche. That's brand new, and nobody did it since either. So ah, okay. So if composers want to. Yeah cheat and steal that from McCartney, they can go ahead. I always mm -hmm. say there's no copyright on chord progressions. <laughs> That's right. Another thing of note about this is the super cool guitar sound. And I wish I could have this sound. Beautiful. But it's the guitar solo that gets me. strikes me as a beautiful example of 
the things that an electric guitar can do that an acoustic just won't pull off. That's why I consider myself an electric guitar player, not an acoustic guitar player. Yeah. But there are things that, you know, you do on acoustic guitar yeah. that conventionally aren't on, on electric, and I don't normally do those things, you know, in other words, uh, you know, uh, finger picking, all that kind of style, you know. Yeah. I'm not good at that. I, I just kind of fake through that kind of stuff. But uh, So there's an art to acoustic guitar playing and an art to electric. The art to electric guitar playing is finding every nuance you could possibly find to dig out of the instrument. You know, that's yeah. my favorite thing. I love doing that. It seems to me that, that it's a search for tone. It's a search for tone. Yeah. And the guitar offers, it's such a rich palette, you know, it offers so many possibilities. Well, who's it? Charlie Hunter, the jazz player. Yeah, yeah, he sounds like a he, keyboard. He's, yeah, he sounds like a, an electric organ, like Jimmy yeah. Smith playing yeah. electric organ. Yeah, that and that, that's done with a a, um, a rotary uh, sound that actually the Beatles used a lot. But oh, really? But he played up the rotary sound. The rotary is actually used with an organ. It's uh, something called a Leslie Tone cabinet, those big boxes that the old bands... I used to feel so bad for keyboard players and <laughs> pull out a Hammond B3, bigger than a refrigerator, for God's sakes, to do like a two-hour gig, you know. And, and, and next to that, they have their Leslie Tone cabinet, right. which is the size of like a bachelor-sized refrigerator. <laughs> and they used to literally have moving trucks to play local clubs sure. back in those days. It's got a fan mechanism in it that can keep airports, like, cool. <laughs> now you have keyboards this big, and you put your Macintosh next to it, generates all the tones, and boom, you're set. Oh, there keyboard we go. Keyboard players are much happier. Now. There we go. <laughs> All right, so, um, but uh, it's worth noting um, the solo. That's basically just an F minor arpeggio. All the notes of the F sharp minor chord, except for the... It's just the notes of F sharp huh. minor. I'm sure McCartney wrote this one, and Harrison played it because he got that cool sound. Okay. And then he, they changed it up. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, to know that he tuned his E string down for this because he does a lick uh, where he goes um, wait, wait, that's that. well, we'll have to listen to it it's it's really low and I'm sure the guitar <laughs> Really gets low on the guitar. Alright, uh, it's a, like low D flat over there, okay? Mm -hmm. So we had to tune the E string down, alright? So that's uh, fixing a hole. Pretty much awesome piece of music, but very simple. It's the production that makes it so good, uh -huh. too. Um, and just the brilliance of the chord progression. It's, it's again, he took a cliche and de-clichéified it. 